Speaking of long lost arts, the art of driving remote controlled vehicles around your house. Oh, I have thought Whoa. about using this as a webcam today. He brought a prop. <laughs> I, bu I brought a prop. Uh, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit now out in stores. Uh, I gotta say, y'all, this, this thing is pretty dang neat. Uh, Quick Look it's is up big. on the site now. Yeah, can you hold it's, it up again? Yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty it sizable. Be, yeah, it's like a like... two-hander for Jan. So, uh, hold on. Where's, where's something? Okay. I thought it'd be like, you know, a little guy like this. Oh, really? No, right. I, I think so, that's about exactly the size. Oh, you should. You should so uh, here's a switch. the switch. During, during the break, you should absolutely set that up as a as a webcam. <laughs> oh, for, I will. For the rest of the show. <laughs> uh, I have a ruler. I think it's, I mentioned in the Quick Look, it's like five by seven. And then it's like about three, three and a half inches tall. Um, and it's Nintendo's latest foray into the AR physical toy sphere. Um, and so instead, instead of like playing on pre-made tracks, like in Mario Kart, like Rainbow Road, et cetera, et cetera, uh, you are physically making the tracks. They give you four different gates, cardboard gates to drive underneath and <clears throat> you make your own custom course from there. And, um, they recommend that you have a space of 10 by 12 feet. It's kind of pretty big, especially if you live in like a small apartment, a one bedroom type of deal. I had to clear a lot of space. Even my kitchen, um, it seemed like I didn't have enough space there. I made too tight of a loop donut that uh, the camera on this bad boy wasn't able to read the gate um, numbers or whatever. Um, it's 99 bucks. Only one per cart. Yeah, um, that's kind of steep. And, and it's kind of steep. Switch. So if you if you're playing two player, you need two switches yeah. on top yeah. of that. Well, so. for the price, I mean, you'd kind of expect people would bring their own switch and thing over that they bought anyway. But... I ain't bringing nothing nowhere. Yeah, right. no, that's no, fair. I, so like, I that's kind of my... you'd be able to use two Joy Cons and play like on a switch together. I mean, that's that's my real question: is is this thing worth it if you're the only one that has one? So if if you're the only one that has one, it's a lot of time um, trials, right? It's a lot of time trials, but you do race against like AI Koopalings and okay. Bowser Jr. Okay. on like the courses you make. That's okay. Um, and I was a little hesitant, or or, or uh, yeah, hesitant because like you know once you make the one course and you're stuck doing a Grand Prix, how is that going to get differentiated per each different uh, course or whatever? Um, but then with the AR, it just winds up kind of adding environmental hazards changing up the aesthetics or like the look of the courses and look like in the quick look the first race we did it was just a plain um race through my living room but then the second one it was supposed to be underwater so everything was underwater um i couldn't tell if the physics itself felt like how the underwater segments in mario kart races go um but the environmental hazards were some that you'd come across in um, an underwater level, like the gates were covered in coral and stuff, and like Question. that part's really neat. Yeah. Does it? Does it? When you're saying like it looks like the Mario Kart stuff, does it actually play like the Mario Kart stuff? Is it kind of a one to one? So that's the weird thing. Like you can, it, it plays exactly like how Mario Kart would. You can drift. Yeah, can that, drift that was the, stuff. when I watched your quick look. That was the thing that really stuck out to me. Was like, oh my god, they do the straight up sparks when you're drifting that change yeah. color the more you drift. But I mean, does that thing? surely that thing doesn't physically drift right it's not physically drifting okay like in when you're watching the camera feed it looks like how it would in a in the normal mario kart games but then i was watching the physical cart and it's just like you know kind of slowly turning um and it's not like drifting on your actual floor or anything does it get the little boost after it does get the little boost okay. so in a right out the box you have access to 50 and 100 cc the more you keep playing and earning trophies you get access to 150 and 200 mm -hmm. and you know some of the mario kart power-ups like the bullet bill power-up will make you zoom by faster and it actually does that with the cart so if you're just in 50 cc you're kind of like slowly creeping through your place but then once you get like a like a one-up mushroom or like a mushroom or a golden mushroom you are actually physically going faster and the power-ups all work the same so if you get hit with the lightning bolt power-up um your the car, car slows down. Well, it doesn't actually shrink, but it slows <laughs> down. Or if you hit the uh, like a banana peel, you'll stop in place for a little bit. Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah, it's it's really neat, and it's it's weird to just see my my house from like that low of a perspective. Um, <laughs> I will say I was having connectivity issues 
a lot yeah, with it. That stuff looks um, rough. It's a little rough, and I've uh, I made a mistake in the quick look. I said it was Bluetooth connected to the switch. It turns out it's just uh, going off the switch's local Wi-Fi chip that it emits. Mm-hmm. Um, but even then, I was having a lot of trouble with it. I wound up moving to my living room, which was a little bit more of an open space, and even there, I was having issues. And I wasn't too far from uh, the switch. Um, and everything I've seen of like videos, I see people using their switch in handheld mode. So I wonder if like are kids supposed to be following their cart physically or like turning in place so it's kind of like a clear um, connection to the cart itself. Um, it has a USB C port for charging, uh, and I gotta say like the the most fun I've had with it though is just exploring around um, as like with the little cart and just watching like the little camera go. Um, as you play through the courses, you know, as you collect coins, you're unlocking stuff. So you're unlocking customization customization options for like the different gates. So um, with each gate, there's four of them and you have to use all four of them. At gate two, you could specify like, hey, I want this to be a boost because I designed this to be a straightaway. But at three, I want you to have like uh, power ups or whatever. You can change that up. And as you collect more coins, you can... Um, unlock more uh, options for your courses. There's also a bunch of cosmetics. I think like the downside, it's, it's a minor nitpick, but I wish you weren't just racing against the Koopalings. I wish it was just like the normal Mario oh, Kart roster. They want oh, you to they buy didn't. more carts eventually when they roll out. Like, here's uh-huh. the Luigi cart, right. here's the Donkey Kong yeah. cart. Well, there is like the yeah, Luigi Luigi's cart. out now, yeah. Sure, yeah. but then here's the Dry Bones cart. Yeah, here's the... yeah. yes. That's yes, that's, here's yeah. the Dry Bones cart. <laughs> it seems weird hey, that these just don't take Amiibos. The Dry Bones right. fandom Kinda, is dying. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jason that's... was saying that it's a bummer that Mario can't, Mario or Luigi can't pop out of the cart and you can't just insert whoever i feel like they could have uh you know made a lot of these like pop outable so you could just customize it and everything yeah. um but it's then a- you wouldn't go spend another hundred dollars on a whole new cart that's true that's that's very true i yeah. it, for what it's worth like this it's pretty sturdy like it doesn't feel like a cheap uh toy if anything uh i ran this a bunch into my walls and like table legs <laughs> hell yeah do you ever run it off a of, like a counter uh, not a counter because I was too scared and I needed to get the video done. Um, but it, you know, it, it's it's pretty like I, I don't see any scuff marks and like the wheels don't look like there's that much wear and tear. I was kind of like racing all day on Sunday with it. They do recommend it's for indoor use only. And I think it's because these parts aren't cheap enough or easy enough to replace in uh, in case you do like pop like pop a wheel or like scuff up a wheel or whatever yeah just right uh it doesn't handle ramps that well like so when you uh first plot out the course physically you have to drive through it first um so you kind of are painting out a map of your course and um if at any point the car leaves the ground it'll be like hey that's a no-no go back to the gate one you have to uh you have to stay on the ground the whole time but in the quick look, I wound up launching off a ramp a couple times, and that was pretty neat. Um, it's, are the tires rubber, or are they like a hard yeah. plastic? They're okay, they're rubber. You, you can, uh, yeah, there's yeah, there's nice. some bounce. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, squishy. Yeah. I feel um, like if you're gonna do that for outdoor use, you would need like bigger uh, tires. You would need shocks on it a little yeah. bit, and all that sort of stuff. But does it does it a, does it draw a full course? I mean, once you train it to like, here's, it here's the route, and here's where my gates are and stuff. Like you see the kind of the guardrails along the whole course and all that stuff. So you but, don't see you don't see the guardrails, but you see uh, the road that you had driven okay. through to paint the course. Okay. Um, they also give these um, turn signals that'll denote like, oh hey, like this is where you're supposed to go. Um, and I think they've released the PDFs now, so you could print a lot of that at home, just in case you mess up uh, the turn signals here or you need more. Jeez, <clears throat> um, what else? Uh, it, it, I have wooden floors at home, but I did ride it through some rugs and towels, and it was fine there. So <laughs> if you have a carpet at home, I think you should still be okay. You mentioned time trials. Is there like a friend leaderboard or something? Well, I guess no, because no, they're not you're making be your able own. To use your courses. Yeah, man. Imagine though, if you could like upload a course and I don't know, just like ha- show somebody how to 
build it in their floor and stuff. Totally. Like, yeah. I uh it's this this feels like a, the Mario Maker thing of like, let's do the actual bare minimum for some sort of thing that's a really cool idea, but then mm-hmm. like not put the necessary time and R and D into, you know, taking it to another level. Yeah. They they don't really average I don't think there's any online multiplayer. It's all local right. up to four folks. Um and as you build courses, because uh, I, I set a time trial in like the first course I'd made, but as soon as I made a second one and tried to do another time trial, it's uh, the game said like, "Hey, you're going to overwrite your existing record because it's technically a new course." So it's it's a weird issue of like you can't uh, like I guess save the original courses you made because if you want to make a new race, you're going to overwrite everything from before. Um, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like a, I mean, that's the strength of it, but also like the limitation, right? It's like, it's got to be this physical thing. So the minute you move that physical thing around, it's like, why keep the old stuff around? Yeah. Yeah. This thing seems uh, like a super cool application of kind of existing technology, but also like super hamstrung by the cost and all the practical requirements of getting people together in the first place. Yeah. Not, not, to, mention I think the, f- not to mention the pandemic making that impossible on top of that. Right. And for me, it's like, okay, how like I do you feel like those carts go fast enough? That was the thing watching the videos that they put out, where it's mm-hmm. just like it's cool that they did this, and obviously they slow it down, speed it up based on power ups and and all that. But just mm-hmm. at no point did it seem like, oh man, I'm careening across this floor, going fucking bonkers with this fast moving RC car. Like it always just looked like, okay, it's kind of moving. And if you're sitting there staring at your screen the entire time anyway, then it's really just the benefit of the camera on the car. Mm-hmm. And not you going like, oh, look right. at that. It's RC car. Yeah. You know, you're not driving it like an RC car because you have to look at the screen, right? Or, or do you think you could play it I, not I, looking I, at the screen? I, I do feel like there's no. a, I do feel like there's a, an aspect of like enjoying your vacation through your camera's viewfinder kind of thing <laughs> to this, you know, of like you made this expensive phys- physical object that you're never going to well, look yeah. at. It's like well, that's, I mean, that's the, the spectator whole, that, mode and like, okay, pass it off. Like, it. Though yeah. that's the whole point. You could get an RC car. No one's stopping you from going and buying and getting an that's RC right. car. That's right. No one is stopping me from going and getting a sick the RC car. The whole point car. is like it's like you're playing Mario Kart in your house. Fuck right? a, fuck a car. What Mario you, Kart in the Switch. What if you got an RC hovercraft? What if I got a car? Oh. What if I just bought a car and went out for a drive? I mean, you can do that right now. All right then, Nintendo. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Um, but I, I'll I'll say like it did feel faster. Um, when I was just like watching the video feed of it versus watching the physical cart go through my place. Um, because, you know, when you're watching it, it's just like, it looks like a little dinky cart going like, Rrr. but <laughs> when you're like listening to like the audio and everything, like, you know, you hear the, the, the boost sound effects and like the music's bumping that I guess because of the scale, when you're that little, everything does look like it is going super fast. Cool. Um, trying to, earn more trophies so I can see how fast it's going at um, at 200 CC because I'm really interested to see that in the explore mode. So that's when you're just like driving around your place. It, the cart wasn't going fast enough to go off a ramp. But when I had like a, a boost mushroom, I was able to like launch off it. No problem. So I'm, I'm wondering um, if, if they'll actually go super duper fast that it does look like it's zooming, not just in the game, but in real life. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I just wish the connectivity was just a little bit better. Yeah, that um, sounds like the biggest bummer, honestly. Yeah. There were some folks saying they were experiencing motion sickness watching mm. the quick look. And I wonder if that's because um, like the Mario Kart itself and the Koopalings there, they look great. But the actual video feed looks a little stuttery and a little grainy because of uh, the nature of the camera. And what's the field of view like on those? I, I didn't get a chance to watch the, the video. Like, um, how far ahead is it looking? Uh, I can't. It, it looks like it's like a a, a 12 millimeter lens, like a, a fisheye kind of, but not like fished out. Kind of like, you know, when you look through a GoPro, right? right. Like that Your field of camera. view. Oh, God, don't, don't get me started on GoPros <laughs> again. Um, so, like, I'm kind of tempted to, like, see how people will, like, I want to see if you could add another smaller camera to this or like add something else to it to, to get that uh, uh, perspective. Uh, that, that being said, like when the connection was working great, it 
was incredibly responsive. Um, like it, it could stop on a dime, start on a dime also. Um, but there were, there were instances, and I don't know if that's because like my switch was uh, low on battery or the card itself was low on battery. But uh, I'm, I'm interested to see like as I progress through the game, if uh, if it'll be faster or like how how fast it can get, uh, Chad, how much people can push it. Uh, the Bojangler, you think you could... the the Bojangler in the chat, which is a fantastic username, uh, <laughs> says that the 200 CC mode when you unlock it is extremely fast. That it's actually hard to make turns in that mode. It's so fast. Mm. So I guess you can Good. work your way up yeah. to some speed. I, uh, what if you mounted bottle rockets to it and then mm. worked out like that, a that's servo exactly. or something? Yeah, yeah like. And then just put it, put it on the steepest uh, hill you can find outside and just go mm -hmm. down. That's right. Um, the bummer part with the course making is that you have to go into the full loop. So after you hit gate four, you have to get back to gate one. And uh, my <laughs> dumb butt kept making like too tight of a turn to get back to gate one. So I feel like your course making kind of has to resemble a, like a, a good circle or a good oval rather than like a messed up shape that i was making i wish though like playing with this now in my own house makes me think that we would have a hard time playing with this in the studio because you know i'm imagining us starting in the studio maybe going to like where the bullpen is or like trying to go around the whole floor but it doesn't seem like the range is good enough to do that and it mm -hmm. seems like there's so much stuff in the air that already miss it messes with like connectivity yeah. issues that it would be probably unusable yeah, I, I'm. I'm wondering. Maybe it's because like I had too much Wi-Fi interference. If the card is using five G, man, wi -Fi. five G takes another. Is that five G? Because uh, like I have one of those Wi-Fi meshes in my place, so I'm. I'm wondering like was that causing an interference at all? Is the capture equipment causing interference? I haven't played with it enough in handheld mode to to see like a major difference or not. Hmm. Uh, but I mean, like that being said, it's it's really cool. But it's one of those things of like. Man, is uh, is this something you're gonna get for your kid or your nephew, niece, and they're gonna have a blast with it for a day, but then because of how much work it takes to build out the course, clear up enough space, um, it's the Labo syndrome. It it's the Labo exactly syndrome, like the Labo thing, where it's like once it's all together, you're like, oh wow, cool, mm -hmm. do it once, and then be like, cool. Like, okay, yeah, I, I think now. the thing I would run into, I, I feel like it, it, like doing this would be, okay, I'll plot out the course and now I've got to drive the course and then I would drive it and it'd be like, all right, I drove it already. I don't want to race on it now. Like I don't like, okay, I already did the well, thing. I mean, that's time uh, trial. That's literally track mania is racing on the same course a million times. Okay. Yeah, but that's good. <laughs> Jan, uh, what happened? My autofocus was messed up. Uh, uh, I and you know it's like it's such a high barrier to entry that I'm I'm kind of curious if Nintendo will like sell standalone carts without the cardboard gates at a reduced price perhaps like mm. hey here's like the toad cart and he's only 60 or 70 bucks versus uh, like if the, if the gates are really cardboard then the, you know cuz I yeah. cause you print out your own gates right I think they did the yeah. labo thing of like hey here's here's how to make your own so Man, I had fucking labo holy shit <laughs> I've not right. thought about the word labo since I could not tell people you. have so much cardboard in their house right now that it'd be the perfect time for labo mm. yeah it's yeah true. but this, this is definitely like one of those things of like well if someone could come over to my place i'd show them uh like hey look at this cool thing like you know when yeah. you'd have like psvr or like easy vr system to share like if i was but, 12 and i could have friends over like i could imagine doing this with like five different people just building the course over and over yeah. and over again with like i mean i'd get kind of sick of it but like somebody else experiencing it for the first time seems cool enough to kind of keep interest going. Yeah. And then like, who knows, maybe like they buy it. Alone, it's more like, okay, how sick can these jumps get? Like, how how much peril can I put this, this car into without breaking it? Or, whoops, I broke it, you know? Mm -hmm. like that, I feel like that's the escalation. I was just like, okay, we're going to attach a bunch of sparklers to it and then drive around uh, <laughs> and see how it goes. Like, right, I kind of yeah. want to set up my, my dining room table to be a course if... I don't think it's big enough, but I can just, you know, I feel like that'd be super fun if you had three other carts and, you know, if you fall off the table, you're just done. Yeah. What is it called again? Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Thank you. There you go. It's it's really neat. I'm going to try and put more time into it to see how fast we can make this cart go. And You should make like, like a, like a, you should get some real tight plastic wrap around and make mm -hmm. a rainbow road suspended 
in the middle of the kitchen, you know? Oh, shit. That would be good. Oh, from counter to counter? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Uh, someone mentioned this on the quick look, but it'd be really neat if the cart started, started auto-driving itself after you finish a race mm. and just brought oh, you back to game one. Because yeah. the, the AI follows like the tracks pretty well. That's the Mario Kart style. Yeah. They should have done that. Oh, it. man. Yeah. That's neat. I want to see if it can handle a loop. If I can go fast enough, I want to build a loop. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did I? Where'd your chair go? It's oh, right here. There it is. Oh, oh you okay. my gamer chair that I got and then huh. still figuring out what all the knobs do. Okay. All right. Good to yes, know. It's right a secret here. lab. Good to know. Yeah, man. This chair became a secret for a second there for sure. Uh, 